Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest hydroelectric gravity dam that has been built with concrete and steel infrastructure and has been important because it took more than 10 years to create this dam. It displaced more than 1.4 million people, that is a huge amount of people who were having their livelihoods in the nearby areas were displaced because of this construction of the dam. and. Uh, this dam in itself is a gigantic structure. If we talk about uh, the dam and if we go into the intricacies of the dam, we can see, as you can see here, this dam is nearly 60 floors high. So in, talks, uh, in terms of the height, it is nearly 185 meters high. In terms of the length, it is more than 2 kilometers. The reservoir that it can hold besides it is more than 1000 square kilometer of reservoir that is there. Uh, besides this, nearly 23 billion euros were spent in order to complete this dam. This, guy, uh, this gigantic structure was completed on the Yangtze River which is commonly known for its flooding. Now, this dam was built with an idea with a two-fold objective. The first objective was to control the floods in the Yangtze River. The second idea was to bring in carbon neutrality in China. Uh, there had been series of debates for establishing various hydroelectric power projects in China. China is one of the countries which has more than 98,000 dams, the highest number of HEP generations across the globe. Uh, and uh, Three Gorges Dam is one of the exemplary examples of this. Now, this dam, as it was said to obtain carbon neutrality, had a whole of political history that was there. The concept was laid down back in 1920s, but however, after the change of the government, the project started only in 1994, but it took only 10 years to complete this project, and in 2006, this project was completely ready. However, there were top-ups that were done in 2012 in the form of generator systems, and 2015 in the form of sh uh, ship lift and the creation of locks that was done. So that was a basic outline that we understand about this dam structure. Now coming on to why this dam had brought in so much environmental concerns for the common people. Now the environmental concerns have been genuine. The first reason that has been cited here is this is the region which is one of the major areas of uh, the kind of prosperity of the common people there. So the local people survived well there with the agriculture, with the fishery, with the creation of the dam, when they were first introduced to this concept, they were told that the flooding would damage this region significantly and there needs to be a creation of dam. And in this process, more than 1.4 million, as we quoted, people were displaced. Expropriation was paid to them, pension was given to them, but that was not sufficient to help them through their livelihood. Now, also, we need to understand that the river flow that is there has been very interesting. If we talk about the upstream areas, the region of Chongqing is very, very important area. Now, Chongqing is a region which is uh, basically the upstream area of Yangtze Kiang and this is the area which now accounts for nearly 34 million inhabitants. The reason for such huge amount of inhabitants is basically because of the creation of this dam and blocking of the water, we have seen the development of civilization in this region. But as we said, this dam has its own environmental consequences. The first environmental consequences Previously, the river was flowing, so with every flood that used to come, the waste water used to flow. But with the establishment of this dam, the water flow gets slowed down and as a result, the level of pollutants in the water rises. So the pollution level or the pollutants in the water have significantly increased. The next thing is... With the creation of dams, the fishes are only able to move down the stream. There have been locks and lifts that have been created. So rivers who are transmigratory do not have any option to move upstream. And as a result, the upstream area and the downstream area are totally segregated. The river, uh, this, uh, fishes that move down do not have an option to migrate back and complete their life cycle. 
so previously in this region if a fisherman used to have 40 to 45 kgs of fishes a day that amount has been reduced to only less than 5 kgs a day which is not even sufficient for the survival of the fishermen as a result this region is now known for its empty net syndrome that means the fishermen are going there but the net is coming uh, empty there are no fishes in that so that is another important consequence that we have seen the flow of the sediment has been affected with creation of such a huge infrastructure what has been brought into significance is the seismic city so this uh, dam already lies in the seismic belt now since it already lies in the seismic belt the seismic activities could actually lead to severe uh, conditions there also uh, recent satellite imageries have shown that the dam itself has got distortions now if we uh, zoom out the dam again we would see that this structure that is lying here has shown distortions at certain regions now these distortions mainly in the region like this have created trouble for the downstream regions Wuhan, which is nearly 400 kilometers downstream from uh, the Three Gorges Dam, it is believed that if the bursting of the dam could occur, this would submerge whole of the Wuhan, which is one of the major um, uh, aggl uh, urban agglomerations, we could say. So that is how the satellite imageries have been talking about the distortions previously those were not accepted by the government but now they are considering that there have been significant distortions that have been seen in the infrastructure and something needs to be fixed pretty soon also uh, another important thing is the valleys have been flooded so geological imbalance have been created and there have been certain cases of rise in the floods that have been witnessed in these areas of recent so those are some of the important things that we need to know about the three gorges dam today however we are talking about this dam and this infrastructure because china is yet to build another dam which is three times as big as this three gorges dam and this would be in a region very very close to India and therefore it holds a geopolitical significance and also environmental concerns for most of the environmentalists. So we would be focusing on that in a separate lecture. Stay tuned for updates on our, from our side on environment and related issues. We would be coming back with certain many more interesting topics for you. Have a wonderful day ahead.